Hi everybody, my name is David Aaron Garcia. This is a documentary slash news story update on Big Access News. This is for my Big Access News profile. And of course, my, this is about the Asian um, Con Connor. Some story, news story recently, the shooting in Ohio. Of course, it's been taking a lot of news and a lot of attention lately. And basically, people also ask for photos about him. I'll have those appear in the video too, so you can get a better glimpse. Hey, at least I get to get the plug on here, right? It's a good network. I got um, academic um, cool kids, I believe, from CBS. I'm correct. I was on Channel 47 in Fresno, California. That was a local, local affiliate in the Fresno area. You can find a link on BigAnswers.News.com to their website. You know, share it with them. And I have that actual pictures, I believe, somewhere, but I'm not sure if it's what link it is on my site. It wasn't done as a news story. That's why it was just done as part of the photo gallery. So it might be in the family and friends photo gallery on BigAnswers.News.com. But let's get back to... Um, who was on um, Asian Han. Okay, this is one of our stories we found. You know, it's been posted pretty much everywhere. And, you know, on the pack, we wrote really and got one, too, up on here somewhere. I mean, everybody pretty much sounds all similar. But here's one of the ones that caught my attention. This is what people were saying out there. Okay, some of the kids call him as um, Jack Black, the loud, cubby, long hair actor in the movie School of Rock. He could be loud sometimes, all right, and then his appearance cry for attention, as they call it. His shock of wavy brown hair, his fingernails painted in black, the doll collar around his neck. He faded a rock concert, t-shirts under a trench coat, but there was another agent con. Agent con for more mention than the Loki kid with the un unkept hair and fox scarlet look. That was the agent who always seemed to be in fights at school. Well, at least as a press release, Matt calls it on. Okay, you know what's so ironic about this? Is that people pick on this kid for looking like um, this, for the way he looked. I think I... Come on. You'll get a better view when I click the folds on the image, but I, this is the best fold we already have. Of course, they have us two folds of... doing good. This one right here was found on the internet. And then this one we found too. Someone had took a still shot. Some people were doing this on TV taking still shots and they were calling them clay shots and stuff. Way the arch clay ain't there. That's a whole bunch of stuff there. But you can see how they took a one. It's fine. You can see how he's dressed in black. Black pants. It looks like it appears to be a band shirt. And his long hair, as he described, brown, like, just like you need rockers would have, right? You know what was the ironic thing about this? When we read this story, you know, when this, before this story happened, I was up all night before, you know, putting together and editing a story about a kid named Brian Dinky, well, a young guy who got killed for being a punk rocker, and people picked on him for the exact same stuff for, well, dressing in black. Of course, I don't have little dog collars, little spike hairs. I mean, let's face it, my Florida Valley Search Texas asked me if I dress like that. I mean, as if they don't have enough reasons, but to keep off subject, I don't want to get fired. But, um, but you know, you, you know, let's put it this way, you know. It's obviously that, you know, he dressed like this, you know, and people pick on him for being that way. You know, I don't have... Pictures of Brian Denke, you know. This kid was scold too, you know, picked on, spit on, trashed, beat up by different students. Now, he he did get a loan and actually was known to have actually been interviewed by someone from the National Library of or the NACP or something, or the AC Defense for African Americans and Color People. And so this was Brian Denke here, you know. And even this kid, he had friends that were African Americans too, so he wasn't racist or anything. 
anything. And a lot of people said he was mentally, severely sick, mentally ill, gross. You know, mainly they're going off his appearance and the way he acts. But I tell you what, he had to be intelligent to be in that, that was it, that, oh, that school, that success tech. Um, academic score or whatever, because you can't just sign up for that school. You have to get approved. So that tells me what he was pretty intelligent of a kid to actually be in there. I don't know what field he was going out for, though, in there. It was it sounds like some kind of a technician-type school, but they probably have nursing or stuff like that. It was like a magnet school. We have these in my state, too, in Fresno Unified. But basically, these are magnet programs that get kids, and sometimes they have separate campuses. In this case, we did here in his city. Now, I guess he got picked on so much that it just drove this poor kid nuts, you know. It's not fun being picked on, you know. But bullies, there's nothing better than a thrive of watching someone be sad or even acting range and they get joyful when they see them react and get in trouble for getting them back, you know. A bullies love it. It makes them thrive. You know, it's kind of sickening. I know how bullies are. Everybody has been a target, and I have been too, to the, these type of losers, you know. If Cooper don't ring a bell, I hated that place, but believe me, I didn't go back there with some guns and take out some anguish on students, you know, I was, honestly, I didn't think of, you know, at least to me it didn't affect me to do that, he was, but it's sad, you know, but you, people have to realize that people that get, did get shot going to have this effect on for the rest of their lives, which is sad, but they did survive, only one didn't survive was the one that probably got picked on the most, and that was Asian, you know, the con, the kid, you know, he got picked on so many times, you know, some people say he may have shot himself because he didn't want to face justice or whatever, I don't know, that's, they didn't, they didn't mention any suicide notes or found or anything on, and so far no videos or real profile sites like MySpace have not showed up on there, of his yet, but it's hard to believe if he doesn't have one, you know, he went to that school, he was intelligent, he probably has a profile somewhere, he could have removed it or it's up there, so it'll be found eventually one of these days, but maybe his friends don't want to mention it because the press will look at his polls and they're going to judge him based on the way he looks. Black fingernail, they say look like Marilyn Manson, I guess. And we have, of course, you can see some of the Marilyn Manson videos on my YouTube profile there. Let's see what else we have here. This was the agent who stabbed and slapped around his arm, um, we'll see. They're talking about when he had a conflict with his mother, I guess. One little conflict with his mother, and now this kid's suddenly the devil, huh? Wow. Imagine how many families, I hear these stories, that got in fights with their families, and they're so terrible that even physically fights in the world, you know, hey, not front page news, right, huh? But I guess, go figure for that one, boy. That's something else, you know. Sheesh. 